these kind of questions are really easy. They're called exponential equations. They've got exponents. The thing that you're looking for, which is x, is an exponent. So we call it an exponential equation. All that you do is you want to eventually end up with a situation like this, for example. You see how we have twos on both sides? So what happens is that you cancel the twos and then you just solve that. Or another example might be x minus 3 equals 5 to the 2x plus 1. You see how we have fives on both sides? Once you have that, you just cancel. But Kev, my bro, here we have a 3 and an 81. I know, but check this out. Check this magic. I know that if I type in the number 81 on my calculator, I press the equal button, I press shift, I then press fact. It then breaks the number 81 into prime factors, which is 3 to the 4. So I rewrite this number as that. Whoa, did you just check that? We have 3s on both sides. So in the next step, I literally just write it like that. I completely ignored the 3s, and now it's easy. Now I just want to get x by itself. So to do that, I'm going to take this to the other side, where it's going to end up becoming a plus 2, because when you take it to the other side, remember, the sign has to change. And so x is going to be 4 plus 2, which is 6.